Gill and Michael Haggett, as we're told by Joe Concepcion just now, already has a quadruple double. <laughs> the fourth stat, of course, is very dubious. It's for errors. And that's a record of sorts, too. So quadruple double for uh, Michael Hackett in points, rebounds, assists, and errors. You know, in the NBA, Joe, there's only one player who has uh, put together a collection of, uh, of doubles in four categories. That was Nate Thurman at the height of his uh, career. He had doubles in points, rebounds, assists, and block shots. Oh, block shots. It wasn't errors. Eh? No, no, it wasn't errors. And earlier this season, this uh, NBA season, Joe, Michael Ray Richardson of the New Jersey Nets nearly had a quadruple double. He had doubles in, uh, he had twin digits in points, rebounds and assists, and he had nine steals. So he was just one steal short of posting his own version of a quadruple double. That was Michael Ray Richardson early this NBA season. Very interesting vignettes from our sports scholar out here, Kenito Henson. Ricky Brown goes to the line on a foul by Alex Clarino. 83-74 is the count. Nine point lead for great days. A warning is left on Alex Clarino for protesting a might too vehemently that last call by the ref. Three team fouls apiece. Rick Brown is looking for his 23rd point and it's in the bag. 83-75. At the rate of scoring has been going on and we just might be in for a new record tonight. Although the previous high turned in by Ginevra San Miguel would really be difficult to overcome. 197 is against 168 points. Um, We've got a foul called on Abbey King this time. It's going to be take two for Arnie Twadlis. Fourth team foul for a great taste against three for Hinebras and Miguel. 83-75. Make that a nine-point lead now for the Hinebras. Representing a hallowed institution in the Philippine economic landscape. It goes by the name of La Tondeña Incorporada. And Arnie Twadlis... Wadless making his presence felt here in the Hinebra San Miguel lineup. He is now the all-time PBA record holder for single game assists with 23. Ricky Brown takes it at point blank range. That was a very unorthodox shot taken by Ricky Brown that time. That's his 24th That's point. right, and he's showing he's every bit a professional player. Ricardo Brown, even though his team has been eliminated from the finals, he's showing here that he's really the true professional. He's very grimly determined. Alone among the players, he hasn't smiled throughout this game. It's just serious business all throughout. I'm not sure if Ricardo Brown knows how to smile during a basketball game. I haven't um, seen him really smile throughout the whole season and the past two years that he's uh, come over to play in the PBA in 1983 and before that when he was playing for Ron Jacobs in 1981. The day I see him smile. It's a year that Ricardo Brown got married. Um, it's not a fact now. In the United States. Um, I haven't really been able to confirm this with uh, Ricardo, but I understand it is true. Maybe he smiled on his wedding day, Joe. He probably did. <laughs> Although I don't know many people who smiled on their wedding day, did you? <laughs> All right, 85-77. Four minutes and four seconds left in the third quarter. Corey Blackwell misses from the side. Look at Michael Haggett. He was practically walking the pipe rope that time, saving it from going out of bounds. He goes to Alex Clarinho and credit one more assist to Michael Haggett. Thanks to Alex Clarinho. Well, you know, for you to be able to chalk up an assist, the receiver must put in the basket. That's the receiver right. doesn't put in the basket. Sorry, no assist. Ricky Brown doesn't need any assists. No, he's doing it all by himself. Ricardo Brown, ever the true professional. And he's already got a total of 27 markers. 87-79. Great shot coming from Arnie Quantes. A three-pointer of that. 90-79. Back to a double-digit advantage for the Hinebras. And looking for win number two in the series for third place. 319 to go, third quarter. Five team falls for great days. Let's watch Arnie Quadras. Oh! And look at him doing a Sonny Jaworski. Well, he's putting on a show too. Arnie Tuadles. He's really coming into his own uh, late in this uh, third conference. And Sonny Jaworski uh, broke into a smile as his teammate and his ward, Arnie Tuadles, made like himself. Uh, and he got a congratulatory pat too from Rita Salazar, his assistant. Well, the influence of the Big J is so pervasive. It's so contagious among his teammates, and that's why this in Never Club really is the most popular basketball aggravation in our neck of the woods. Hackett against Blackwell. For a moment there, I thought he was going to miss deliberately, but then he wanted to make sure because Blackwell was there to contest the rebound. Well, there were three coffee makers right on top of Michael Hackett. He had to put in a little bit of a double pump there to make sure that that basket went in. 
Here's Blackwell backing up on Romulo Mamaril. Romulo almost had a clean block there, but he did come into contact, so it's going to be take two for Corey. Well, Corey really hasn't had an easy night. He hasn't had an easy season. Moving its people to help you move ahead. Two minutes and 23 seconds left in the third quarter. Corey Blackwell is on the stripe. You know, I just took my eyes away for a few moments from the ledger, and when my eyes returned to it, I saw that Michael Hackett already has 35 rebounds credited to him, and that's only five points or five rebounds shy of the all-time rebounds mark held by Billy Robinson of 40. And that has stood the test of time for at least a decade. And he still has a whole quarter to be able to make sure that that record gets broken tonight. And Ricky Brown comes through with a great offensive rebound. And it's 94-83, back to an 11-point lead for Never San Miguel. Two minutes and 10 seconds remaining, third period. Joey Marquez playing the low post against Ricardo Brown. He goes to Michael Hackett underneath. There's another two offensive rebounds. All right, he got it on the third try. So that's 37 rebounds already for Michael Hackett. And look how this guy is going about it. Well, everything's fair in love and war and stats. I need to add this breaking out into a big grin. I think he also knows what Michael Hackett is up to. That's right. And he's being a little cooperative too, I suppose. Blackwell with a turnaround. Okay, my time now. Well, that's the kind of shot that Corey likes to take, you know. We kept on, we have kept on saying ever, ever since Corey Blackwell uh, came into the PBA, he's really not a shooter, he's really more a scorer. He knows how to get those baskets by driving in. Well, that time he proved me wrong. <laughs> That was perfect timing, your introduction of the fact that he is a scorer. <laughs> Quadlis. All right. 98-87. Never San Miguel, just two points shy of a century remark with a full minute and seven seconds left in the third quarter when all of 12 minutes and the final stretch. Heaven knows. The it's a one the limit. Yes. Michael Hackett comes up with a beautiful steal. Arnie Quadlis continues the fluid motion all the way to the hole. All right, that's 100 points now for Hinebra San Miguel with 49 ticks left in the third period. 13-point advantage for the Hinebras. Ricky Brown working the ball in the left side line. Takes it from... It was a three-point shot. Well, nothing like a three-point shot to douse the rally. Oh, look at this! Now that <laughs> 39 rebounds already for Michael Hackett. Well, he wants to break the record right here in the third quarter with 29, 29 seconds left. And he's making it only too obvious to the crowd here who loves every second of it. That's already his 40th rebound. All right, he has already tied Billy Robinson's all-time rebounding high of 40. Oh, this guy has a full 29 seconds and 12 minutes in the fourth quarter to come up with a rebounding record that will be very hard to topple may be impossible to topple. You know, offhand, Joe, I wouldn't know the NBA all-time single-game record for rebounding, but as far as points, uh, Will Chamberlain holds the record for 100 points in one game when he was playing for the Philadelphia Warriors. He goes for the rebound again. And that's the record breaker. That's the record. He, that's another rebound. <laughs> so 42 rebounds already for the night. Michael Hackett has broken the PBA all-time single game record for rebounding in the third quarter of this game. You know, Kinero, this is one game I wish I weren't covering. I love to watch it. I simply want to sit down here and laugh every second of it. Well, a, lot of the, a lot of the players are having fun, but take a look at Ricardo Brown. Strictly business, written all over his face. That's right. 103 to 92. And the third quarter is now history, and I'm saying that literally speaking, <laughs> history as far as Michael Hackett is concerned. We'll be right back. Barry Moy, tabletang luna sa Almorana. You know, the story behind this ball game as we prepare for the fourth and final quarter is statistics, 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 and a lot of them are going out the window. Thanks mainly to the heroics of Michael Hackett and is looking at us to make sure that we are aware of what he has already done. He has erected a new rebounding high of 41, right, Kinito? That's right, 41 rebounds by Michael Hackett. That's a new PBA single game high. 
As far as scoring uh, by Pierce is concerned, Joe, Great Days actually outscored Ginebra San Miguel in that third quarter, 39-38, and that's why they've been able to slice off just a point off the 12-point lead.